It is early, it is Saturday, and there is a 600 house yard sale condensed into two buildings. We're gonna go there, see if we can find a flip line for a profit. Those things are actually worth a ton of money. Is this a dollar or $11? Not bad, but it's Man, the thing is, is that it's probably full of water. I don't know how well those things are sealed up, but those things are actually worth a good amount of money. Custom built rods. That's a lot of golf clubs. But somebody's already been here. Look at the uh the head cover. <laughs> That's pretty funny looking. Get them out. This crowbar, yoke, lantern. Forty bucks works. What is it? Oh, it's a right angle. Forty bucks for the. Missing its plate. Good one. <laughs> I have no idea. It's the right angle though. But they want 40 bucks for it. So this is a older model Milwaukee, and I usually would pick up any type of right angle drill because they do sell very well. But for $40 and being the older style, I'm gonna have to go ahead and leave that one behind. Usually that might sell for 60 to 60 to 70, but in that condition, it was missing its top plate and looked like it has been used a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it behind. If it was 20 bucks, I'd have picked it up, but 40 bucks a little high. The newer ones do sell for a lot more money than that. This cooler back here. Federation outs. Oh, that's why. It's because of that. Nobody wants it. This is a Grizzly cooler. It's a smaller cooler. They're asking 20 bucks for it. Grizzly is a decent cooler. The thing is, is with the Federated Insurance on the top, I think it made the value go down a little bit, so I did leave it behind. It's a Fuji food. Two bucks would be good. How are you doing? What is that thing? Oh, it's the whole CB radio. So this is the inside of uh, the very large building that has a ton of stuff in it and also a ton of people. You're gonna see these black lines throughout the video and that is actually, I think it's the LED lighting. We try to get close to the window so it kind of mitigates the LED lighting effect on, on the GoPros, but we find some really cool stuff in here. So as you can tell, this is Kayla Cam, and she's actually doing super good. She goes to the middle table. When it comes to bigger yard sales like this and inside yard sales, we always split up in the beginning. Uh, we usually go through the tables pretty quickly, then we'll uh, get back together and then start going through things together, which we do here. She picks up a lot of stuff here. As you can tell, everything is super cheap, like a quarter, 50 cents. That's why this is one of the favorite yard sales around in this area, is because their prices are so good. Okay. 
much of their pocketbooks? Oh, this one's three bucks, but check it out. It's got like turquoise in it. Oh, yeah, but that's... And then it's got... Oh, a wallet and stuff. Oh. Uh... Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. We have to shoot for it. Uh, windows? For some reason, it doesn't do that. That's bad. E blue. Yes, yes. Very cool. Yeah, look at that thing. Steve Madden. I'm gonna get it. It's really nice. Three dollars. That's cute fish. That's a cute fish. Good for what not? Pottery. Onyx owl. Is that onyx? Uh, that sure looks like onyx. Made in India, yeah. I think his tail's broken. Yeah. A little chip on him. He's the, there's a little owl inside of him. I know. How cool is Who that? Is that? Who is that? Who? Who? Yeah, we'll take him for I think it's pretty neat. So we actually thought that they were onyx owls, but it's not. These are actually going to be soapstone sculptures. And we pick up three more, which are really cool because it has like an owl. And then it has like a little baby owl on the inside. And we picked up, I think, a dolphin and one other animal. So very, very cool. But they're not onyx. They're going to be soap soapstone uh, sculptures. Garden Republic. What is this right here? Hey, look. You can plant your... Well, I'm gonna buy that for you. That's cute. I know. It even comes with this. Plant your little, uh, look, spices and peppers and all types of stuff. Pretty. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Today is pretty neat. Gone fishing. Dude, that's like, that almost looks like it's bronze. The clock just popped out. Yeah. Spy gallery handmade. Spy gallery artists spend years perfecting their trade. Oh, it's made in China, but this feels like it's um like bronze or something. We'll get it for three dollars. So as I'm editing this video, that little clock right there actually just sold for fifty dollars plus shipping. Does not have an HDMI. Oh, and we got the remote. Oh yeah, it definitely worth ten bucks with the remote. Hands down. Just a truck. Oh, it's metal. Souvenir of Canada. Patrick Swayze? Who's that? I don't know, but I have a sticker on myself <laughs> called, called three dollars. We actually just sold a set of these shells. I think for like, it was either six or eight of them. They sold for $40 plus shipping on eBay. It's too cool to leave for, for, for a dollar. What was he, that little skeleton guy? Yeah. yeah So 
So Kayla then moves over here to the jewelry area and does pick up uh, that little heart shaped thing and then those rings right there. I think they were two to three dollars a piece, but this was a very crowded area. So it was kind of hard to actually see what was going on. And over here, as you can tell, has still has the uh, black lines going through it. So she does pick those up right there in her hand and that was everything at the jewelry. So tons of stuff bought. We're actually gonna go back to the car and actually look at it better because it was very hard to see in there. They have LED lights and with GoPros, they make lines. Yeah. But we stood pretty good in there, and I think it, everything was $43.75, and I gave them $45. As you can tell from when I was walking down the street on the last yard sale, this day was super rainy and the day prior was super rainy. So everything was really, really wet outside. So the yard sales, there's only a couple of them. Uh, this is actually a good yard sale. We do pick up some stuff here. And then also after this one is in an indoor estate sale, which is good because it starts pouring down rain. But we do find some awesome stuff in there also. Oh, yeah. You want a sack? How much did you have on these? Um, $3 for all of them. Oh yeah, can't go wrong with that. That's good. I'll take those. These are nice. I'm thinking like the booth. Yeah. They're actually real wood. They're not like a... Yeah. That's pretty cool. At an estate sale, got some, got some pots. I like, this thing is nice. Oh, what is this? We don't we wouldn't know where to put it, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's it's really cool. There's a Ford truck. Could you put um so she used that with dirt and then have like a plant in it probably? It? That's actually pretty cool. That is cool. If it rained on it, wouldn't it um just hold water? Yeah. Um <laughs> yeah. There's a whole bunch of pot things that are where you put the pot on them. Oh yeah. There's like a ton of them. It's always nice to have. That one's cool. Can we hold them for you? Um, I like the deep ones. For your plant. It's cool. Because you have lots of plants now. This is really. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Well, let's see. This wasn't. This was a rain or shine because it is raining. Not a whole lot of shining going on. Not a whole lot of shining. Not a whole bunch of shining. Yeah, real soaking rain. It's a good pot. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pots nowadays. Well, we were at uh, what Home Depot, and they wanted like six to ten dollars per pot. Mm -hmm. Like that's a nice pot. Mm. No, got a lot of crazing on. Makes it look authentic. What was she using those towels for? Probably just to set the pots on. Set pots on. Mm -hmm. I really like that truck, but I mean, can't really use much. That's heavy. <laughs> that's like super, super heavy. That'd probably be brass. It drilled holes in it too, because those holes aren't supposed to be in there. Um, did you want that for a plant? Is that what you would put in it? Oh, I don't know. Probably not. No? This thing's neat. This is neat. This has a marking on the bottom. It says something coffee company. Yeah, I don't know. That's really, really cool though. More plant? That's your plant. For selling that one. I think she said everything was for sale but those chairs back there. Really? Mm-hmm. What type of plant is that? Plant, that's a dead plant. Uh, a blooming succulent. Blooming succulent. I could, I could, um, ask her. Can baby it back to life. Baby it back to it's life. Got a lot of flies in it. Though. A lot of flies. No? Yeah. Right. Cat and pumpkin thing over here, but I think it's probably sold. 40 bucks for that. That seems high. Does his head come off or anything? No. No? Do you have him? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's cool. That's super cool. Back from the yard sales, pretty good yard sales. That one is gigantic. It is like literally 600 houses condensed into uh, two buildings. We didn't go to the other building because the line was so long and we were uh, able to get into the first building in the first wave of people because they stopped people. And then we were like, well, the first people usually are getting some of the good stuff. So we then went to some other yard sales that were posted. $45 for everything was a steal of a deal because this Samsung right here, I probably already showed a sold comp is going to go for like probably 60 bucks. So we're in the profit there. And then the rest of this is profit, which none of it's like huge profit, but a lot of it's, you know, 10 to 15 bucks. Most will be on our whatnot shows, but I did want to bring up these guys right here. I called these Onyx or one of us did, me, Kayla, or I did, and they're actually soapstone. And on the inside, they're like, this one has an elephant, I think, on the inside. This one has a dolphin and a baby dolphin on the inside. And that one has an owl and a baby owl on the inside of it. So these are really cool. It looks like they do sell for like $20 a piece. So 60 bucks right there, uh, 20 bucks for the camera. The cat was in the estate sale we went to, kind of hard to see, but a uh, ceramic cat, I thought that was super neat looking. Online, they usually are going for like 40 or 50 bucks. The light's not working in here. We can probably get it to work and probably sell that thing. Ours looks, the it's got good looking eyeballs. Look at these eyeballs. I have an owl in the back that has the same eyes, but uh, I'm thinking like 40 bucks on that, 40 plus shipping. And then this was pretty neat. I was right, this is bronze. And any type of bronze statue is actually pretty nice. This is from SPI Gallery. I've seen bronze statues before and this has the same patina on it as that does. And the clock ones actually are uh, for like 150 bucks. I don't think it's gonna go for 150 bucks. I'm pretty sure I'll see if the clock works. It's The clock is not in like, you know, it's not a fancy clock or anything like that. But I'm thinking that it's probably going to be for about 50 bucks. Then some just little tiny things down here for whatnot. Then this thing right here we picked up on the outside of that one estate sale. And I flipped it over and I could tell that it was hammered copper. But on the bottom here it says the Avon Copper Smith. And if you look this up, that company, their stuff sells really, really well. I might clean this up but I probably won't like I usually copper stuff like this. I don't clean. I just keep the patina on it. This was painted at one point, but I'm not gonna lie. It hangs on the wall like this. What is it? Did you put a candle in it? Do you put some sort of, it has no holes in it. I have no idea what it is. When I first looked at it, I was like, well, it's a ladle. Then I thought, no, it can't be a ladle. That's dumb. And then I was like, well, maybe they added the part that my, I'm holding. No, that was actually got to be factory because it has the same patina on it and pinned over pins that are copper. So I don't know. Tell me down below what you think this is. But their stuff, the Avon Copper Smith Company, their stuff can sell between $50 to $100. No problem. And it is the hammered look to it. So right, right there, you can see that it is the hammered look. Again, a very good day at the yard sales. That one yard sale is super busy. It's busy every year. We got there about 30 minutes early and uh, actually probably, yeah, close to 30 minutes early. We were in the first wave going in the door because they stop at a certain point. And then there was probably a hundred people behind us waiting to get in. It was rainy today and this was one of the only yard sales in the area also. So it probably helped them out to get some better sales. And uh, we, we did pretty good, not like a ton of stuff. I did hear about somebody finding some sterling silver candle holders which is that's a pretty good find that's not too shabby but uh again really good day out there remember we do have the website that has all of our links on there a lot of people ask our ebay link or our whatnot link or uh, our merch link all that stuff is on our website which is linked in the comments down below also we do have a website with our merch on it also on the left side if you look or unless you're on the phone it would be at the bottom something called kayla's creations that's where all her handmade stuff is so if you're gonna go check that out we do appreciate it. i do appreciate it but watch remember you're not subscribed Subscribe, comment down below, like the video, you know I will always get you on the next one.